Transportation is such a basic uh, element in our lives. How do you start with uh, an environment that uh, has been going for a hundred and, and some years with pneumatic tire come in and provide perhaps an alternative? A pneumatic tire is very susceptible to failure. We look at how many fatalities there are on our highways every year, uh, the very dangerous aspect of losing traction control with, with wheeled vehicles is very serious consequences. So if we can make vehicles safer, uh, make a better contact with the ground, uh, it all makes sense. Hi, my name is Brian Russell, I'm an inventor, and I've reinvented the wheel. Back in the early 90s, uh, I began a footwear project uh, with my hand-built shoes produce footwear that would give you approximately 10 to 20 percent efficiency gain while running at 10 miles an hour. With that same concept in mind, uh, it was time to apply it to wheels. Our first patent uh, was issued in 2004 and uh, from there, we have had another one issue, and we have one more that's been filed. We also have applied internationally for these patents. We have a pending Japanese patent and a pending Chinese patent. What we're looking at with this technology is to find multiple ways or synergisms that can come together and produce a super wheel, something that, again, is run flat, something that is very durable, something that might even be considered an actual piece of the car as opposed to something that has to be replaced very, very often. One of the things that seemed to make the most sense was to find a way to suspend a wheel within the inner diameter of a steel hoop. By doing this, it allows us to use a springy steel hoop to meet the ground. The wheel inside it is basically floating inside that and gravity pulls it to a position to where there's more energy at the top the inner diameter of the steel hoop than at the bottom, making it easier to roll. We started with smaller wheels and did quite a battery of tests with those wheels. The interesting aspects of the wheels begins with a de-weighting effect that when a weight is sprung, it's much easier to move. It's like a garage door. If you have a spring on that door, you can readily lift it up. When we have vibration that's coming from the steel hoop into our membrane, that vibration and noise is devoured by the membrane, and the membrane stores that energy and gives it back to the rolling action of the wheel in a kind of a smooth rolling process. One of the concerns that we should have is that as India and China have more and more cars, we're going to be looking at more and more uh, consumption of fossil fuels. The, the main purpose of, of this video is to let people know that this is here, that technology does march on and inventors around the world have a lot of solutions. The difficulties that, that are posed to us are things like finances and you know how, how do you uh, get your product in front of the, the marketplace. And we're so close to the point of being able to mass produce these uh, that again, this is the time to get interested in this project and to help out uh, in ways that you can.